Well, a new uh, index measuring innovation levels in New Zealand has found the rate of innovation has been flat for almost a decade. The survey, a new collaboration between IBM and the University of Auckland, found that after rising between 1998 and 2000, innovation has stagnated for around seven years before falling in 2008. Well, to explain the new survey, I'm joined by IBM's Dougal Watt. Good morning, Dougal. Good morning, Corinne. First of all, explain to us what is the survey? How does it work? So this survey is an attempt to understand the innovation that's going on in the New Zealand economy and it's looking across all the diverse sectors in our economy, so business and government, uh, and it's looking uh, at 16 different, in the 16 different areas and multiple indicators, so it's the first multi-indicator cross a sector survey. So how does it measure? What does it look at? Patents, trademarks, those sort of things? It's quite comprehensive, so it's looking at uh, the re research and development that's going into innovation, and then it's looking at moving across the life cycle of innovation, how that R&D is translated into products, and that's manifest in things like patents, um, design registrations, um, trademarks, plant variety rights. Then it's looking at the effect that, that innovation has on productivity, so is productivity changing over time, which is really a measure of past innovation, and it's also looking at organisational, marketing and managerial change related to innovation. And this is not something that's been done before in New Zealand on this way? Uh, it's very interesting. When we first looked into this, uh, we, because we're all concerned about innovation, it's a, obviously a very important element of the economy and it's a way to drive growth and change in our economy. And when we looked into research, we found that there's static measurements, but they don't cover the change across time and they don't cover the different segments that we were looking at. All right. So we've stagnated for, the, for, for 10 years. Why? Um, this survey, this measure is really a first attempt to understand what's going on in the economy. So it's, it's a little bit difficult at this stage to understand exactly why. But we do see some interesting trends that the things that are growing over time um, are the patent side, trademarks and productivity has been growing and some of the other measures have been relatively static. Um, of course 2008 we had a, you know, the effects of the recession and in a lot of industry sectors we had quite a drop in, in some of those activity measurements. So, which is again not that surprising but um, it's perhaps a suggestion that there needs to be more research into exactly why performance has stagnated. Is there a contrast between public and private sector here? Um, we look at all sectors, all segments, so we do look into those areas and in some respects it's difficult to make com comparisons across. Uh, the commercial sector is ob obviously subject to competition, um, which the, the private sector, uh, the, sorry, the public sector is not. Um, but in general, uh, you know, innovation is going on in all areas. Um, perhaps the, the public sector lags some elements, but again the measures aren't directly translatable. Because research and development figures would suggest that it's private sector which isn't putting the money in. Well, it depends on the sector that you look at. So agriculture, forestry and fisheries, for example, has been a very, very consistent uh, applier of R&D and translating that into products that they market globally. And there's been increases in productivity as well. Um, some sectors, that just isn't happening. And uh, perhaps that's an area that we as a country need to look at. Dougal Watt, thank you very much. From IBM. Thank you very Cheers. much.